Hey food friends, welcome to Cavalcade of Food. I'm Kevin. Hi Kevin, I'm Ralph over here behind the camera. And today we are making pasta avocado. That sounds fancy and well, delish. It's, uh, I don't think it's too fancy, but uh, we're taking advantage of some very ripe avocados that we have on hand. Um, and we're going to make a pasta sauce with them. Wow. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do, you can use any kind of pasta you have. We have some rigatoni on hand. I got the pot almost to a boil, so that's going to make our, our pasta. But we're going to do our sauce first. So I've got um, three cloves of garlic. I got two in the food processor. This is really, uh, you really need a blender or a food processor for this. It's certainly, you could do it by hand, but boy, it's a heck of a lot easier this way. So are we saying that the uh, avocado substitutes for a cream sauce almost? Kind of, yeah. Because, because it's so rich and, rich and creamy. Okay. And when I do garlic, I like to smash the cloves first. We're just going to drop them in their hole, okay? You mean to get the skins off you smash them? Yes. Okay. And then they'll slide right off. Um, so I've got three cloves of garlic, all right? We're going to add olive oil. Three big cloves. Yeah, big cloves. Wow. I'm going to put in, and I'm just kind of wah. Kind of eyeballing it. What would you guess yeah, that about to be? three tablespoons of olive oil. Okay. okay. And then we need some lemon juice. Let's take a whole lemon. I got half of it juiced already. We got our little juicer here. Did you pick that up recently at a resale shop? I did or at a thrift shop. A dollar. Wow, look at it go. Isn't that great? Now you don't have to use if you just you know, you got a, a regular kind of shows the empty shell of the look how they, that's it's so all cool. that's left. That's fun. So Wow, makes a lot of uh, lemon juice there. And before I um, juice the lemon, you can see I took some of the zest off with uh, on it with my microplane here, okay? Because we're going to use the zest um, kind of as a garnish, oh, okay. okay? So we use the whole lemon, zest and all. Whole all lemon right. and nothing but the lemon. So olive oil, garlic, lemon juice, and we go. How much did you say that was the lemon juice? Uh, juice of a whole lemon, okay? So, uh, Kind of loud Basically in here. Chopping, <laughs> we're chopping the garlic up. Alrighty. Okay, so here's our lemon juice, garlic, and olive oil combined. Okay? Now we need two avocados. One I've already kind of done, and then the other. And they have to be ripe. Ripe. These are very ripe. I mean, really ripe. Sometimes so, you can get them at the. Um, you know, parts of the store where they sell the, what do they call that food that's uh, discounted? Yeah, kind of past its prime, day Yeah, old. but that's perfect for, you know, like if you yes. want to make bananas, bread, and you want those old bananas, or if you want to make this recipe, which calls for very ripe avocados. So you see what I did? I sliced it in half lengthwise. I just hit it with the knife. And that's how you the get pit the pit came out. right out. Now I'm going to... Score. I know this is how you do it, Ralph. Yeah. You use avocado. I'm going to take a spoon. I've already done one. And we're just going to scoop all that avocado goodness right out of the shell there. Yeah. You don't even need to score it if you're going to scoop it, really. Okay. So. I like the idea of this avocado becoming like the cream sauce just you know in its own because it's oily and rich mm -hmm. and you know has good nutrients in it and then what else what are the other ingredient ingredients in this recipe it looks like you have basil out here right so we're, let's put the avocado in so we've got two avocados mm -hmm. the food processor is going to do all the work for us you could use a blender too if you didn't have a food processor okay then we're going to use we got some fresh basil here so let's put the fresh basil in. This is probably oh, almost uh, three quarters of a cup, almost a cup of fresh basil. And then... We love our basil. We do. Yes, I do. And then we're going to put in, oh, probably yeah, a good teaspoon of, of kosher salt. All right, now, here we go. Back to the food processor. We're going to make some noise and be right back when the sauce is all put together. Come on, bring the noise. Our rigatoni is done cooked. All right. 
So, bring it over here. Give it a drain. All right, then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put it back in the pan. Okay. I like to leave a little liquid on it. All right, let me just put a placemat down. I like how your shirt matches the avocado. Very good, isn't that coordinated? It, trust me, it was it's completely by accident. Knowing you, I believe it. So, we're going to take our sauce, our avocado basil sauce. And you're getting every last bit. Our moms it. would be proud because you're using the spatula to get every... Right, and you got to watch no, your food processor. No waste. Because those are always so sharp. It's a good finger slicer. Let's take our sauce here. Get it I out. love that it's just basically avocado and olive oil and basil. And, and lemon makes juice a, and garlic. It makes a cream sauce. Without any cream. So what did you call it? Avocado pasta? Pasta avocado. Pasta avocado. Okay. So we're going to give that a nice toss. You want to get... The nice thing about a pasta like rigatoni or even penne or some of the others are you can smell that basil, can't you, mm -hmm. Al? Is it has the ridges on there. And that... Those are that's actually designed to hold the sauce so that the sauce clings on to it. Which is just what it's doing. Okay, so we'll turn it out. Doesn't that look good? Doesn't that look good? Okay. Now we're taking, remember that lemon zest that I had? Yes, so and that's going right on top. It's going right on top, just a little bit. And then also, what's really nice with this, let's put a little pasta avocado. There it is. Voila. Thanks for being a part of this one. We had fun. Hope you did too. And the music of Walter Wanderley, Kikaru. For 10 cents, we picked that up today. Yep. See you next time. Thanks. Thanks for watching Cavalcade of Food.